Okay, everybody, it's Tracking Pat with the final segment of the RMX and what makes it different to the other controls. Okay, I'm at the home screen, and the last two things that I want to cover is the keyboard and the calculator. Both of these have been asked for for years, and we've had it in mind that we were going to add it to the next control, and they are here, and they're very convenient. You're going to see how they work. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the program mode. And then here on my first page, it's asking me for my program name. So normally I would have to use the keyboard that I already have or plug one in, something like that. We've made it way more convenient. Simply tap the keyboard. It'll come up wherever it was the last time you used it. If I touch the top bar, I can move it around if there's something that I need to see that's behind it. You'll also see that if I push the numbers button, I can expand the keyboard to give me all of my symbols and my numbers as well. But the most important thing you're going to see in here is that there's an ab set and an ink set button. So once I do put in what I want to put with my keyboard, I can add it to wherever that place may be. In this case, my program name. So I'm just going to call this part number one. So P-A-R-T space one. And then when I hit the ab set key, you'll see that it enters that into here and asks me my next option, what I want to do with it. When I'm done with the keyboard, simply tap the X and it'll go away. Now, I'm going to swipe forward and go into my program, and let's say I want to do something as simple as just do a milling event. So I'm going to start out by just putting in some numbers to get started, but let's say I get to a point where my print doesn't tell me exactly what that absolute dimension is I need for the x-axis. Well, now I'm going to open my calculator, and like the keyboard, it also can be moved around by just grabbing the top bar and rotating or moving it. Um, the next thing I can do is if I double tap the top, it'll turn into a scientific calculator, so I have all my trig functions in here as well. Ink set and ab set are at the bottom, and so if what I had here was something like I needed to take 1 plus 3.659 equals, once I get the equation figured out, I can just hit the ab set button and it'll put it right into that. Now that I'm done with it, simply tap the X, it'll close, looks like I missed, and then I can finish by telling whatever it is that I have to do in my program. So you'll see that the calculator and the keyboard are there when you need them, they're out of the way when you don't, but you'll no longer have to switch for your phone or for a calculator, or if you're like some of the older guys and have one taped to the machine, you won't need to do that anymore, okay? One last thing that I wanna cover is that the Prototrack RX is built on a platform now that we will be able to add to this control as we come up with new ideas, better ideas, different events and things like that. So if you have this product and in the future we make some things that are much better, you will be able to upgrade and add those different things to your control, which is always going to keep you up to date and on the spot. So I hope this series of videos has helped you to get a better idea how it works. I still think if you want to know more, you should go to one of our showrooms or talk to one of our local sales reps and he'll give you the whole lowdown on how it all works. In the meantime, Keep watching the videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, I'm Tracking Pat, and I want to remind you to keep on tracking.